Hey there folks, now that the knickers and brassiere are done, it is finally time to get started on my overalls. I'm gonna use the Folkwear Rosie the Riveter pattern. It's not entirely accurate for the period because it uses a zipper, which these zippers were not around in the 1940s because they needed the metal for the war. To be more accurate, you would use buttons I'm going for the zipper though. For this project, I'm going to use this brown brush twill. It's nice and soft, but also very sturdy. So it should be great for doing farm chores. Also being brown, hides the dirt. This pattern also calls for two three quarter inch buttons. These are just brown wood buttons that do match the fabric pretty well. Oh no! Rather than do a mock-up, I chose to do a tissue fitting. I felt that this pattern had enough ease that I should fit into the size I picked out fine based on my measurements. With the only major adjustment that I found in the tissue fitting to be that the leg portion is a bit longer than my legs. calls for interfacing the waistband pieces. I just used extra twill from the rest of the project and just put a second layer in there. We are going to pin this on to the bodice now and start assembling the waistband pieces. I pinned the waistband on to the bodice. We I clipped some notches here to ease it in. I'm going to sew this on now and then we'll clip the seam and press it. I'm now attaching the bib to the bottom portion of the overalls. I have matched up my center here and I need to pin the sides on. It's time to sew the zipper in now. I have pinned it with some green masking tape and then we will turn it over to the front and sew um, either side of this basted seam and then after that this will get ripped out. I've pinned down the waistband facing and this is now going to get hand sewn in here. And then we have the facings to do for the back bodice and the top bodice and then finally the straps and the leg hems. And then we will be all done. Just turn the hem under a little bit and then fold it over again. This is all pressed really well so it stays in place and I'm now going to stitch this down.
lot. I am very pleased to be done with these overalls. The twill fabric was so much more agreeable to work with than the uh, rayon from the bra that I just did. Uh, twill is just so agreeable. It it's the fabric that's like, yes, ma'am, I will do that for you. The only part that it did not want to cooperate was the facing, the center front here. The center front facing here, I did tack that down because no amount of steamy pressing would get that to stay down. It's just a thick seam right there, so no big deal. Uh, the downsides to not doing a mock-up are that the upper part of the bodice are a bit wider than me. I have a fairly small rib cage. I have, as you can see, a bit of extra fabric here. I can tuck a bunny in there or something if I need to. There is also on the back, it wants to be a bit sticky outy here at the zipper. It's just a little bit too much fabric and I've seen other makes that also have that sticky out bit there around the zipper so I'm not too worried about it and again this these overalls are literally going to be my outdoor work overalls so I'm not too fussy about the fit on it it was a straightforward project I didn't have any significant issues I did get the needle under my thumbnail a couple times which did not feel nice next up on this series is to make the blouse goodbye and I hope you get to go outside and get dirty. Overall, it was just, wow, can I use overall to describe overalls? 